Sumasayang celebration ng 12th Philippine National Health Research System o PNHRS Week sa Cap John Hay Trade and Cultural Center, Baguio City. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang kaliwat ka ng sessions para mas mapahusay pa ang health research program sa bansa. Ngayong araw, kilalani natin ang mga importanteng tao sa likod ng matagumpay na celebration ito para magbahagi ng kanilang saloobin sa tema ng celebration. Research and Innovation for Equity in Health. Abangan lahat ng yan dito lang sa DOSTV, Science for the People. In PHRS Week, that's Philippine National Health Research System Week, we're celebrating already the 12th PHRS Week here in the Cordilleras in Baguio. Uh, it actually is based on the Presidential Decree 1309 signed by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo declaring every second week of August as the celebration of the Philippine National Health Research System Week. Yung PNHRS was actually institutionalized into law last 2013 through Republic Act 10532. And this is the integrated framework for health research in the country. We're truly elated with the uh, outcome. It's currently ongoing, but uh, even now I can say it is probably uh, the most successful so far of our 12 PNHRS Week celebrations uh, simply because the attendance is really the biggest so far. So I was informed that we already reached about close to 1,400 delegates. So we're truly happy with the uh, output, the outcome, and this only means that a lot of people are now very much interested in uh, health research and to be updated on what's the current status uh, in health research in the Philippines. First of all, uh, the themes usually follow the priorities for the current year, and we also do this in consultation with the health research consortia, in particular the host health research consortia. This time, it's actually the Cordillera uh, Health Research and Development Consortium. So they were very much uh, cr uh, critical in uh, coming up with this theme. Now, why is it uh, research and innovation for equity in health? Because we realize that there is really a big problem in terms of uh, health inequity. Now, equity is actually the, uh, the consideration of the different uh, population groups and how they are able to access uh, health care in the country. Uh, and when we say equity, they should have equal access to the quality health care, regardless of what population they belong to or what group of people they belong to. We are in Baguio, the first time that the Cordillera is hosting the PNHRS Week celebration, and uh, it has a particular flavor because we are in Baguio, and we all know that in Baguio and the Cordilleras, we have indigenous peoples, for example. Mm -hmm. So we have some issues, topics uh, related to indigenous peoples as part of the program. Uh, aside from the fact that uh, there are also other issues that have to be addressed, which are current, like uh, the issues on uh, relevance of health research and uh, the other administrative and governance issues related to health research. Next year, uh, we, uh, we are going to have it in Cagayan de Oro City uh, because uh, last year, we were supposed to hold it in their uh, area. However, because of unavoidable circumstances, we had to move it to Manila. So, uh, they've already made preparations, in fact, for last year, but it didn't push through. So I'm very sure that they're doubly prepared now to host the uh, 
PHRS Week celebration next year. Well, the, the ultimate goal always is to get the full cooperation of all of our regional health research and development consortia. We have 17 in the country. I'd like to emphasize the particular importance of all of these health research and development consortia because we are pushing health research to be decentralized, to be moved out of NCR, to go to the regions because we know that the regions are in the best position to identify their health research priorities and implement the researches that they need to address their most important problems. So it underscores the basic principle that the regional health research and development consortia are in fact the heart of the whole health research system. First of all, uh, I'd like to tell all of our viewers, our listeners, that uh, the Philippine National Health Research System is very much alive uh, through our 17 regional health research and development consortia. We have been here and will always be here to promote, to stimulate, to implement researches to address the priority health concerns of the region as well as uh, the national problems through the cooperation of all of the entities involved in health research, all the stakeholders, including the research participants themselves. So through your continuous participation and interest in all of our activities, we'll be able to show to all of our countrymen how important health research is in national development. Missed an episode? Want to try Pinoy recipe? Or check today's weather? Or perhaps just be amazed at events, people, and places of science, technology, and innovation? Get them all here via the DOS TV app. Just download the app and you'll see the shows anytime, anywhere. Don't be left behind. Be updated and watch DOS TV. DOS TV app. Now available on Google Play. Na kailangan uh, ang ganitong mga pag, pagsama-sama no ng mga researchers, scholars, mga practitioners at advocates para tuloy-tuloy yung uh, uh, conversations o uh, mga panayam hinggil sa mga usapin pangkalusugan ng bansa no at para magkaroon ng uh, tugon uh, sa mga ito uh, ang kaalaman ay kailangan ma-share no at ma-disseminate uh, sa public at hindi lamang nananatili sa mga bookshelves, sa libraries ng mga research centers ng mga universities. Talagang uh, inisip namin ito, kung binigyan kami ng pagkakataon ng national office ng uh, PCHRD na mag-conceptualize ng tema, uh, kami dito sa Cordillera, uh, angkop yung uh, tema ng inequity o yung uh, hindi pantay na uh, access sa mga rekurso o sa mga resources na pangkalusugan at iba pa no, sa lipunan natin dahil uh, sa mahabang panahon ay um, tila nakaligtaan no, yung, uh, yung mga katutubo natin no, dito sa Cordillera at sa buong Pilipinas. Dahil siguro sa bilang nila, sila ay nasa malalayong lugar, mga isolated na community sa mga kabundukan. Kaya uh, angkop na angkop dito yung uh, usapin ng health for all o yung edge o ng uh, equity, no? uh, research and innovation for equity in health. Dahil sa kabundukan ito, marami, marami pa rin sa mga katutubong uh, pamayanan natin sa Cordillera ay hindi naaabot ng uh, serbisyo, pangkalusugan, basic social services, isa na dyan yung health services. So, um, uh, nararamdaman dito, no, yung hindi talaga bumababa, yung marami sa mga serbisyo natin sa mga isolated na communities. Bagamat nag-improve na rin naman yan uh, over the past decades. But still, there are uh, a lot of inequity uh, issues, uh, basically nga access to uh, health services. Um, Yung issue ng uh, teenage pregnancy is, a, is a, a great concern here in the Cordillera. I would attribute that, I think, to yung, yung migration problem. No? Maraming mga 
pamilya na walang nanay, walang tatay dahil na, na, nagtatrabaho sa sa abroad no so so siguro nawawalan ng kulang no sa guidance yung ating mga teenage uh, people no? ang ginagawa natin ay if, uh, of course yung uh, information and dissemination on teen uh, teenage uh, sexuality uh, kasi kauna din dito yung increasing number ng HIV no dito lalo na sa kalunsuran no so um, Nag-conduct tayo ng mga forum, ng discussion, we go to the universities and con uh, we, we talk to the uh, students ano, uh, face to face at the same time through uh, other forms of medium or media. Maraming paraan para matulugunan natin yung hindi pagkakapantay-pantay sa access sa kalusugan, ito ay pa sa pamamagitan ng mga sa gobyerno no magkaroon ng mga batas para ma-regulate para magkaroon ng uh, redistribution no ng mga resources sa mga mas mahihirap uh, halimbawa diyan ka, ka yung field health no magandang uh, magandang uh, strategy ng ating gobyerno sana ma-expand pa yung yung uh, universal coverage no sa field health uh, andiyan din yung benefit sharing mechanisms yung mga corporations na gumagawa ng research and innovation sa, uh, sa kalusugan. Uh, sana ay magkaroon ng mas uh, competitive na pricing para mas affordable uh, sa mga uh, mahihirap yung presyo ng mga gamot. No? At pangatlo, uh, so benefit sharing mechanism yun, pangatlo siguro yung uh, mas paitingin pa yung corporate social responsibility ng private sector. <music>So these venues give us opportunities to talk to the stakeholders, to the government agencies, who are the major implementers, and also the funding agencies. So researchers should not work in isolation. We should be working with the stakeholders as well as the funding agencies. Yung equity in health is not even a theme just for today or this week. It should really be the theme of all the programs of government. As the word means, no equity. Pantay pantay lang tayo, pantay pantay tayo lahat. Whether you come from the north or the south, or whether you're rich or poor, uh, you should be able to should be healthy, and you can be healthy if programs are in place. So itong itong theme na ito, very timely, but at the same time, it should be the goal of every program in government. The University of the Philippines Manila is one of the core agencies. Okay, so um, we have DOH, CHED, DOST, and then of course the National Institutes of Health of uh, UP Manila. Uh, malaki role namin as a, as a member, we participate in not only in the planning as well as uh, setting up the agenda and most especially in capability building. Itong event na ito, I, I think you know, um, to have a family of researchers in the country is going to be good for the country. Um, the goal of every um, gathering is to share the best practices, also to share the problems. Maraming problema rin ang mga programa natin. But if, if you have a certain goal, in this case, equity and health, by talking about problems, by talking about uh, setbacks, we can come up with better mechanisms or strategies to achieve our goal. We don't change our goal. Our goal is the same. It's equity and health. But by talking about problems and obstacles, then we can come up with better strat strategies so that we can attain our final goal, which is equity and health. Research is very important. Uh, research provides new solutions for old problems. Maraming problema talaga ang ating, uh, ang ating bansa. Sa, sa kalusugan at umaasa kami ng ating mga researchers ay makakapag-isip ng mga bagong strategies para naman ang ating mga old problems ay magkaroon ng new and creative solutions. 
sa lahat naman ng problema, pwede magkaroon ng solusyon. Pero kailangan kasi, hindi, hindi tayo isa-isang nagtatrabaho. Sama-sama tayong mag-iisip ng magandang solusyon para sa isang lumang problema. Magandang araw sa lahat ng viewers ng DOS TV. Tingnan natin ang magiging lagi ng panahon ngayong Friday, August 24, 2018 at sa susunod na 24 oras. Update muna sa bagyong si Luis, si Tropical Depression Luis. Ito ay huling namatan sa lahi na 430 kilometers uh, northwest na north-northwest ng Basco Batanes at may taglay itong hangin na umabot ng 40 kilometers per hour malapit sa sentro nito at pabugsong hangin naman na umabot ng 70 kilometers per hour. Ito ay patuloy na kumikilos north-northwest sa bilis na 20 km per hour. At sa ngayon, uh, ine-enhance na ito yung southwest monsoon natin o yung hangi habagat na kung saan nakaka-apekto dito sa northern at central Luzon. Na kung saan makaranas sila ng light, uh, light to moderate at times heavy na mga pagulan. At base sa track na ito, inaasahan natin na sa August 26, Saturday ay nasa labas na siya ng Philippine Area of Responsibility patungo dito sa mainland China na kung saan inaasahan natin na hihina as uh, low pressure area na lamang siya. Samantala, meron tayong binabantayang uh, LPA or low pressure area na huling namatan sa layo na 1,205 km east ng Basco Batanes. At sa ngayon, Uh, within uh, the next 48 hours, inaasahan natin to mag-develop as tropical depression. Kaya inaanyayahan po natin yung mga kababayan natin na umantabay sa mga latest weather update ukol sa sama ng panahon na ito. Pero sa ngayon, southwest monsoon pa rin yung inaasahan natin uh, weather system na maka dito sa western section ng Luzon. Kaya within 24 hours, asahan natin na sa Batanes, at Babuin Group of Islands, Ilocos Region, Cordillera, kasama na yung Zambales and Bataan, ay makaranas ng maulap na kalangitan na may kalat-kalat na pagulan at pagkilat pagkulog. And then yung nalalabing bahagi ng Luzon, expect natin na fair weather, bahagyang maulap hanggang sa maulap yung mga kalangitan. Then yung mga isolated rain showers, asahan natin yan paghapon o gabi, dulot yan ng localized thunderstorms. Agwat ng temperatura na asaan sa Metro Manila ay mula 26 to 30 degrees Celsius. Baguio ay mula 16 to 18 degrees Celsius. Lawag ay mula 25 to 29 degrees Celsius. Tugigaraw ay nanatiling mainit po, 25 to 34 degrees Celsius. Legaspi ay mula 26 to 33 degrees Celsius. Sa Tagaytay ay mula 19 to 29 degrees Celsius. At sa Puerto Princesa naman ay mula 25 to 31 degrees Celsius. Sa so Visayas at Mindanao, fair weather na nasa nating panahon. Uh, bahagyang maulap hanggang sa maulap na mga kalangitan. And then expect nga lang natin yung mga isolated rain showers, yung mga biglaang buhos ng ulan. Uh, although panandilian lamang siya, asahan pa rin natin na light to moderate at times heavy yung mga pagulan, lalo na pag may thunderstorms. Uh, dulot pa rin yan ng localized thunderstorms. Agwat ng temperatura sa Iloilo ay mula 26 to 33 degrees Celsius. Sa Cebu ay mula 26 to 35 degrees Celsius. Tacloba naman ay mula 26 to 34 degrees Celsius. Sa Buanga naman ay mula 25 to 35 degrees Celsius. Kay Gayan de Oro, mula 23 to 33 degrees Celsius. At sa Davao naman ay mula 24 to 32 degrees Celsius. Para naman sa kondisyon ng ating baybaying dagat, nakataas ang gale warning dito sa uh, buong <coughs> seaboard ng Northern Luzon kasama na yung seaboard ng Central Luzon. So, mula Batanes hanggang dito po sa western section ng Bataan at dito naman po sa eastern section ay dito sa May Aurora. So, naasahan natin na magiging maalon hanggang sa napakaalon po yung sea condition dyan. Kaya uh, pinapayuhan natin yung mga kababayan nating mangis tayo yung may malita sa kayong pandagat na huwag po munang pumalaot. 
sa mga lugar na nabanggit. At yung nalalabing bahagi po na ating baybayong dagat, magiging moderate to rock queen sea condition, kaya't iba yung pag-iingat lamang po. Asaan natin sa Metro Manila na sa susunod na tatlong araw ay magiging maulap ang mga kalangitan na may kalat-kalat na pag-ulan dahil po yan sa southwest monsoon o yung habagat natin. Agwat ng temperatura ay mula 26 to 30 degrees Celsius. Ganon din po sa Baguio. Ang mga pag-ulan na naasahan natin ay mula light to moderate din yung mga may paminsang-minsang na mga malalakas na mga pag-ulan. Agwat ng temperatura ay mula 16 to 18 degrees Celsius. Legaspi naman, fair weather. Inaasahan natin na until Saturday, tomorrow, fair weather yung panahon. Then pagdating ng Sunday and Monday, expect natin na makakaranas tayo ng mga maulap na kalangitan din may mga pag-ulan. Agwat ng temperatura ay mula 25 to 33 degrees Celsius. Metro Cebu, fair weather yung nasa natin panahon. Agwat ng temperatura ay mula 26 to 34 degrees Celsius. Metro Davao naman, until sa, uh, Sunday, uh, may inaasahan tayo mga pag-ulan. And then sa pagdating po sa Monday, expect natin na fair weather na. Agwat ng temperatura ay mula 24 to 33 degrees Celsius. Ang araw po natin ay lulubog mamayang 6.14 p.m. At yan lang po muna ang latest sa weather forecasting section, Ezra Bulkiri. DOS TV would like to thank Filipino Creazione de Mano Incorporated. Visit their showroom at Ground Floor Lobby, PSM BFI Building, 318 Santolan Road, West Crame, San Juan City. CITAV, the world's leading source of reliable and authoritative news views and analysis on information about science and technology for global development. Visit their website at www.sidev.net. Walang humpay ang mga alagad ng siyensya. Kasama na ang mga kawani ng gobyerno para pag-usapan ang mga problema at research-based solutions para sa ikabubuti ng antas ng kalusugan sa ating bansa. Dahil sa mga pagpupulong tulad nito, mas napapaiting pa ang health equity sa bansa. Ako po si Jel Miranda, laging tumutok dito sa DOS-TV, Science for the People.